Hey, this is Tony Ross with creativecow.net and this is going to be the first in the series of creating some little optical illusions or op art or just really interesting stuff to look at while you're listening to music. All right, now we're going to be using the oval tool. We're also going to be using the free transform tool. Uh, we're going to mess around with some gradients as well as we're going to be using uh, motion tween and setting that to rotation. And last but not least, we're going to be using the history window. Okay, so let's get started. This is what we're going to be creating. And for some reason, I'm being reminded of college. Okay, that's another story. Uh, let's get started. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is select my oval tool. And I'm going to set the fill color to just a basic black here, no stroke. Uh, we're starting off with black. I'm a firm believer in you want to make things functional first and make them pretty later. So bake the cake, then you frost it. All right, I'm going to be holding down my Option and Shift key, Alt and Shift on the PC. And I'm doing that so wherever I click, I can pull out a perfect circle from wherever I'm clicking, just from that center. So I'm going to click, drag out, let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to show you a shortcut that I use. I want to select this. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm still on my oval tool. And normally you would say, okay, we'll go up to the selection tool. I'm going to simply hold down my command key, control on PC, and I instantly have the selection tool. So just click here and let go of the keyboard. Okay, now I want to go ahead and convert the circle to a symbol. So I'm going to press our function key F8. And I do want to create this as a movie clip. The reason I'm doing this as a movie clip is I want this to do some stuff later. So I'm simply going to call this circle. Okay. Now let's do a little, few little quick keys here. Uh, going to simply do command C. Let's copy this and I want to paste this in place. Um, let's see. Command Shift V, and that's Control Shift V on a PC. And now I'm going to hold on my Shift key and use my down arrow tool on the keyboard to kind of move the sky all the way to the bottom. So we made a copy of this. I'm just going to put it to the bottom there. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go and open up my history window. Let's go to Window come all the way down to other panels and history okay now make sure we got this happening so the next thing I want to do is select both of these guys here and if you notice it's actually our history is showing a lot of stuff that we've already done uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to copy these two little circle movie clips we just made so I'm going to do Command C, Control C on PC, and paste in place. So it'll be Command Shift and the letter V, Control Shift V on PC. And we're going to go over to our free transform tool. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this because basically I'm rotating the copy. Let go. Okay. And I really have rotated it just so there's no, they're not really touching. I just want them just a little bit off. Okay, the next thing I want to do is hold down my Option and Shift key, Alt and Shift on PC. Kind of pull these guys in. Okay. Now, here's where the fun begins. Uh, history is basically watching everything we do. So what I want to do is go to, not this copy up here, but this one here. Select it and come down, hold down our shift key and go all the way to scale. So I'm selecting the steps, copy, paste in place, rotate and scale. Now the next thing I want to go ahead and do is simply click this little button that says replay these steps. Okay. So basically copied what was there, rotated it and scaled it. Let's replay again. And I'm just going to keep doing that till I get the desired effect that I'm looking for. I think that'll work. Okay, now that is done. I'm going to go ahead and close out my history window. And 
I'm going to use a quick key to select everything, um, which is going to be Command A, Control A on PC. Okay, so there are all those symbols there. Now, what I want to do next, I'm going to take all these symbols and put them in a symbol, uh, kind of a box in a box type of thing. The reason I want to make sure this is all one symbol instead of a group of symbols, a group of mo movie clips here, is we're going to do some motion tweens. And we can't do a motion tween with more than one object or more than one symbol on a layer. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this, pressing our function key F8. Uh, this is not going to be a movie clip. I'm going to do this actually as a graphic. And I'm simply going to call this, I don't know, Op Art 01. Technically, you can call it George, Fred, or Ethel, as long as you know what it is. Okay. Click on OK. Now, um, we instantly have this selected, and we see exactly where our transformation center is right there, which is kind of like exactly where that little thumbtack would be. So if we decided to rotate the sky, it's going to spin right on that point. Now, the next thing I want to do, uh, we can set things to spin. So each frame is going to be in either a 10 degree increment or a 5 degree. I've noticed that it looks kind of a, a little bit better if we break it down to five degree increments. What do I mean? I mean that simply we can select frame 36 and have it do a rotation for every frame here, which would mean it's going to be a 360. So 36 divided by 360 would be 10. So those would be in 10 degree increments. Or I could select frame 72 and we'll set up the motion tween and that way it would be moving in five degree increments okay let's get really into what i'm saying here uh i am going to go ahead and select frame 72 and i'm going to insert a keyframe f6 okay now the next thing i want to do is select any of the frames in between these two and i'm going to come down here to the base and set the tween to motion. Now what should happen, you should see this is highlighted in blue and we have a little arrow here, which is pretty good. Okay, now what I want to do next is come down to rotate and set it to clockwise. Okay, now if you notice we have something changing. Okay, so if I scrub this, you can see that this is actually rotating. Okay. Now let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to simply do Command Return, Control Enter on PC. And this isn't bad. It's just going to do these weird little pauses here. Um, basically because frame 1 and frame 72 are identical. So those two frames are being played twice. So we want to stop that from happening. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to select frame 71 and hold on my shift key and then press F5 and that is going to get rid of that last frame and we'll try this out again command return control enter on PC okay and so we actually have this going pretty decent now alright now I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I am thinking that the next thing I want to do is let's make this a little more exciting. So I'm going to double click directly here. And if you notice, we're in scene one now. I'm going to double click. And now we're inside of the actual timeline of op art. OK, that's good. But I want to do one more double click. I'm going to double click directly on one of these circles and now I'm actually inside of the movie clip circle okay now let's make this a little more exciting uh, first thing I want to do it's got it selected so it's a shape let's change the fill and come over here and set it to this weird little gradient which is okay and if you notice everything else has changed you can kind of see it back there um, but it's linear right now. Let's make it radial. So it's coming out from the little circles there. Okay. Now, next step, let's go ahead and select, oh, I don't know, frame 36. 
enter a keyframe, F6. And if you notice over here in our little color area, I'm going to move some colors around. I can move them around or just take them away even. I'm just swapping things around here. Making it a little more interesting. Maybe take that one out. Looks good. Uh, and I'm just kind of playing around. Nothing too fancy. All right, now, the next step I want to do is I'm going to select one of these frames. Now, if you're using CS3, you can kind of get this control from, uh, or this tween from right clicking where it says create shape tween here. Um, if you're using any, if you're using any version before that, let's go select here in the same way we set up our tween earlier. Come down here, not motion, but we're going to set it to shape. Okay, so if we scroll back and forth, it's kind of like does this really cool little thing here. Okay, now let's go all the way back to scene one. I'm going to get there pretty quick by just clicking scene one. And let's test this out again. Command, return, control, enter on PC. Okay, and we have that. And if you're thinking, well, dude, this is pretty awesome, but it'd be really cool if it went faster. Okay, let's close this out. And what I'm going to do this time, it's, uh, it's going to move this little guy down to frame 35. And if you notice, we got all this extra stuff here. Well, select frame 36, hold down your shift key, select the last frame. And note, I'm still holding down shift going to simply go up and press F5 to delete these frames. Okay, now I'm going to do Command Return, Control, Enter on PC. And there we have it. This has been Tony Ross for CreativeCal.net. And remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.